everyone, welcome back to another Monday makeup lesson. Today we're talking about eye makeup brushes because you guys ask me about eye brushes all the time. So let's start off by talking about blending brushes because those are the essential brushes. Blending brushes will change the way you apply your makeup. They will change it from looking quite good to looking like a pro did it, but it's really just you doing it yourself. Every eye makeup look that you do will look even better if you have a blending brush and use the right technique for whatever look you're doing. If you have quite small space to work with, go for a shorter, smaller one, or even a longer, thinner one. For kind of bigger eyes, go for something a little bit more fuller and a little bit more flared outwards. Another blending brush that I absolutely cannot be without is this one. The great thing about this brush is it's not just a blending brush, like it blends over and back, but it also is quite flat. So you can apply your eyeshadow onto the eyelid with a flat section and then just blend it into the crease. And it's like the multitasker brush. It's like the best brush ever. If you are a fan of packing on eyeshadow onto your lid or using pigments, then I would suggest going for a flat brush like this, which is quite thin. And this is great for really, really packing on those pigments, really packing on your eyeshadows across the eyelid. Then you use your blending brush in the crease and you're done. So this is my favorite one for that. Now, if I'm applying like liquid liner and I wanna kind of smoke it and blend it outwards, then I go for this shorter, denser one because with this one, you get a little bit more control and you can really blend and kind of buff out things almost like using a pencil brush, but it's got more of a solid flat surface. And speaking of pencil brushes, this is a pencil brush and it's called a pencil brush because it looks sort of like a pencil, like you're gonna write with it. And the great thing about this is that this works in so many different ways. Once again, I'm a big fan of multitaskers. This works for blending a little bit of highlight underneath your brows because it's got this nice little tip so you can really get underneath your brows. If you wanna get in the inner corner, you can get in there, but also pencil brushes are great for smudging out your eyeliners. Another brush that's pretty essential is a liner brush. Now most um, liquid liners come with a little brush that you can use, but some of them are just too big and kind of difficult to use and they have too much product on it. So that's why I like having my own little one that I can just control the amount of kind of product that's going onto my eyelid. Finally, I have an angled brush, and this is perfect for using on the brows, but you can also apply your eyeliner with this. This one actually has a spoolie on the other end. This is a spoolie, for anybody who doesn't know, it's basically like a clear mascara wand, and it's used on the brows, or you can even comb through your lashes after you apply your mascara to kind of get rid of any kind of flakes or, you know, clumpiness. So those are my favorite eye brushes, and these are actually double-ended. So if you don't want to get like all of them individually, you can get them double-ended. And I get mine from Blank Canvas Cosmetics. A lot of brands have a lot of makeup brushes. I've tried a ton of different brands, and I've never really liked any of them until I found Blank Canvas, and I've just been sticking with them ever since they kind of first came out. So next week, we're going to talk about face brushes. And if there's anything that you want me to cover in a Monday makeup lesson, let me know, and I'll see you guys next time.